Oh. Ah, fuck you! Hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier, and welcome back to Black Rose. Now we're in completely new territory here, so everything that's gonna happen has never happened to me ever. There are a lot of strange well, things I've seen around this place. Mm. For instance, the fireplace that isn't even a real fireplace. It's some kind of ladder shaft, but there's a tough metal grate fastened over it that appears to be controlled electronically, most likely by the lockdown system. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm assuming the shaft leads down to the basement, but it must have been sealed off because it's not accessible from anywhere down there. I wouldn't assume Another anything thing by I started some wondering fire. about is a metal handle that's been sitting on Michael's desk for about a month now. I asked about it once out of curiosity, but he avoided giving me a direct answer. He told me it broke off of something. I had already assumed this, seeing as it's covered in dirt and rusted around the edges where it had clearly been attached to something for a very long time. Perhaps the biggest mystery I've encountered here is the place Myrtle always went for privacy. What do you mean by that? She was often depressed, so she was always going into the downstairs hall on her way to wherever it was she went to be alone. However, she seemed to vanish. The only place she could have gone from that hallway is down into the basement, but I went down there one day to ask her something and I couldn't find her. I'm wondering if there's a secret room somewhere down there. Mm. After all, I did learn from Michael that this building is from the 1600s, long before it was ever a funeral home. Great. Buildings as old as this one sometimes have quite a few secret areas. Uh-huh. Was it also built on an old Indian burial ground or something? Something horribly haunted in every way? <laughs> Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Was that the little kid that likes to scamper around and things? Okay, so I gotta find... something. A whole lot of something. But there was some giggling going on down here. Who's giggling? It turns out wow, a lot of waiting! ...got into the morgue by stealing Sullivan's key card from the office. Uh-huh. Mrs. Rains had been in there and forgot to lock it when right. she left. Nobody knows exactly how the kid figured out the passcode, but considering what a flake his mother is, that's probably just something oh. else she inadvertently compromised. Oh. They're burying Sullivan with a few of his belongings from the funeral home. I guess because he had worked here for so long and was so loyal to his job. Michael revealed that one of those belongings is Sullivan's keycard. Of course, they would need to deactivate it from the system to avoid any breaches in the chance that it was stolen. But then again, Mrs. Rains would be the one who would do that. I discovered earlier today that Devin had stolen the system lock override key as well and hidden it somewhere in the building. This has got to be the most troublesome, ill-behaved kid I have ever encountered. Yeah, sounds like you really hate this kid. Are you Michael? Were you the one that wrote the scathing review of my- Never mind, I can't even talk anymore because my English box isn't even working. So, where'd those giggles come from? Huh? You having a giggle, mate? Huh? Ooh. Grief-stricken man killed by train after blinding himself? Well. Oh. They b never buried either of them. Both are still here. Great! So what I'm thinking- There's something written on the back. They say that if you take his rose, he wakes up. That's the only way his coffin will open. I also heard that he also tears you into three pieces if he catches you. Oh! <laughs> Oh no, God! Jeez. They won't find it ever! There's something here labeled V Room 2 key. Okay. Goody, goody, gumdrops. I'm so happy. All those attending the funeral service for Sullivan James, please gather in the visitation. Who's whispering? I mean, who's whispering? Is there some secret me? Okay. I think they're literally just whispering. Whisper, whisper, whisper. Peas and carrots, peas and carrots. Oh. Ah, fuck you! Okay. Okay. Alrighty then. That was fun. Glad that happened. Let's never do it again. Ka-chunk! Got it! So, we're in the vi- Ooh. Okay, those aren't- Those definitely aren't eyeballs! Why is it getting dark? I can't see! Reveal yourself to me, demons! Reveal yourself to me! 
Oh, those are eyeballs. But from what? Oh. Gargoyles on the walls. Oh, no, those are lions. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Dare you, dare you, double dare you. I don't think I want to. I'm pretty sure I don't want to. He's gonna rip me into three pieces. All right, let's go for it. There's no black origami rose lying on top of the hoffin. Okay, now time to run. Time to run? Time to run, maybe? Okay. Oh, thank you! Okay! Oh, crap. Oh, that's not good. Sullivan James was blind as a bat. Sullivan James fell down flat. Sullivan James is withered and blue. No, no, thank you. Sullivan James is coming for you. No, I didn't like that poem. I like my poetry better. Oh, crap. Well, ain't that delightful. Oh crap, I saw something. Oh god, I saw something! Get me out of here! Oh god, let me out of here! Holy tit balls! Okay, 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 shit. Oh, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm so dead, I'm so dead, I'm so dead. Oh god, I'm dead! What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh god, what do I do? Seriously, what do I do? Oh god, it opened! Okay, good. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh god, what do I do? What do I do? Oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, what do I do? What do I do? Hello. Okay, this is. Oh, what do I do? 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 Something just fell where Sullivan was. Oh, so I just needed to run away for a whole long time. Good thing I didn't go to the place where I was gonna go because that would have been bad. Oh, it's a key card! Oh, good! I'm so happy that I have that now. This is gonna help me in my adventure very dearly. So, anybody else? Anybody else want to jump out at me? I don't know this. Why would I know this? Why, why would I know this? I don't know this. <laughs> oh, count the line. Ooh, between the lines. Count the line between the lines. What does that mean? What does that mean? What do they mean by that? Count the lines between the lines. Oh, the, the X's have lines, so it's two six two six four four. Would that be it? Two six four four? Two six four four. Damn it! Okay, that wasn't it. Alright, so count the lines between the lines. Ah, the other ones aren't between lines, so two, four, wait, two, four, two, four, four, two, no, damn it. It could just be the number of objects in them, so it'd be one, six, one, six, two, five. Could be it. Damn it. Okay, so let's just count literally how many lines are made. So that's two, one, two, that's nine, that's four, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So two, nine, four, seven. Two, nine, four, seven? Okay, there we go. So it was very literal, like, how many lines were drawn, including the circles. Okay. I was thinking about it too stupidly. Great. Good to know that I'm very dumb. Ooh, boy. Now, we seem to have entered a very strange part of the place. The place where they probably embalm all the peeps. Which is probably where there's a lot of dead, restless spirits, if that guy's note had anything to say about it. So, what do we got? Oh, good. Nice and slow. Exactly what I like. Uh, okay. So am I supposed to look in one of these? Ooh, hello. Everyone here is dead. Pretty much! They've all been killed. Well, okay. Ghosts in this house are not like ghosts in other houses. If there if are any. If they're looking for something specific, 
their corpses actually get up. Oh, God! Someone threw the lockdown switch and I can't get out. Oh, God! I finally found the override key, but I'm not sure exactly where the switch is. Although, I might have an idea. I remember overhearing a conversation Michael was having a few months ago about something which was located underground. Uh-huh. I'm confused as to whether or not this underground location is the main basement where Myrtle's coffin is. I went down there a while ago and looked around, but it appears to be mostly a storage space. Maybe I missed it. The basement is extremely dark, even with a flashlight. Maybe I need to go search again more thoroughly. Oh, good. Exactly what I've always wanted to do with corpses getting up and walking around! To find the switch. Yes. My very life depends on it, uh -huh. as do the lives of many future wanderers. Wanderers? This doesn't stop. Mm. One of the most unsettling things about this funeral home is that after a while, you start to feel as though it's hanging by a thread and on the verge of collapsing. Mm. Prevented only by the mysterious force that fills the building. It's such a strange feeling. Maybe I'm not the same skeptic I was before working here. But where is that damn switch? It's probably somewhere down there when there's right always going. The house. How's it go, okay? I'll just be on my way then! Don't even think about it, buddy. Don't even think about it! I'm like a wild animal! I know ten types of kung fu! And a few types of tai chi! One type of badminton. Okay, so back down to the basement, I guess. I guess that's where we're gonna go. Okie dokie then. Alright, that's all the time I have for Black Rose right now. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I'll get right on to the next episode immediately after this and find out what that kid wants over there. So thanks again. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye! Myrtle is overly attached girlfriend.